Hey, hey, hey. Oh, doctor. Oh, look at that hair, look at that hair. Oh, sexy man. Hey, six person, 100, uh, 200 horsepower max. Uh, 150's plenty. Uh, got all your Ray Marine set up. If you wanna change these, like, see it's yellow right here. And I'll go through this with you. And say you wanted to change this dash, the dashboard settings. Then all you have to do is uh, hit the settings button. And then it says switch to. Go down there and then hit OK. Then you can go to the engines, you can go uh, navigation. That gives you your feet, your compass, and then you can go tanks, you don't have that. Rolling road, and let's see what that does. Oh, that's for navigation if you set a waypoint. So that's kind of cool. And then uh, bib data, let's see what that is. That's just big, big data. That gives you your speed over ground and depth. And data, let's go over here. That gives you everything there. Uh, trip, your trip. And let me see here, battery, 34, total fuel. No, and then you can customize the page too if you like. And then you can go to settings and hit okay. And then you can change what you want to see on the page. So that's pretty cool. Then just back up. So what I would probably do is navigation uh, 2.0, 2.0. You got all that anyway. Uh, so then hit menu again. And then maybe we want to to go to rolling rows see what, whoops go to that one see what that does that's your well that one wouldn't be bad actually because that would be your uh, waypoint on your tracking i'm going to leave it on that one then go home and then you can go over here go to your charts and i set all your settings up you got your feet you got miles an hour latitude longitude your plus arrow goes in and out you got the shaded relief in it so you want to be in the, the lighter blue the darker the shallower the water is and i got it set for heading up so then this makes a waypoint if you want to hit this one so then you go home again you can go to fish finder and then uh, right now this kind of neat too this guy paints the bottom for you and then you can change the angle just by using your cursor instead of having to go into these other settings like if i went to i went into this i just hit the menu button now what did it do? Shut off on me. It did. Oh, well, we'll go on to something. It's loading up. And let me see. And it does have the Naviani card in it. It's got the spackle. You'll notice that too. Handrails. You got your uh, USB ports over here. You got a 12 volt power point here. Hour meter tachometer. Miles an hour. <laughs> works, bilge pump works, nav lights work, wipers work, uh, BHF works, you can go to, and go back into that, and that brings you back to the channel I was in, and this has got Velcro, like I say up here, so that, when you zip it, it closes and makes a tight seal, seam sealer, and now there it is, it's loading up again, now we're going to put, oh, we're going to go like this. Then we'll go pages again. We'll go to fish finder. Okay. And then we hit menu again. And then we're going to go down to sonar. See how I can pick that and hit okay. And then zoom in or out. Whoop. Uh, looks like I lost your fish finder for some reason. Depth. Better back up and see where we're at. It could be because I'm in shallow water too, but I doubt it. Looks plenty deep here to me. Okay, so anyway, I started the main motor up. Make sure it's in gear like this, or out of gear. Start it up. Of course, safety liner is going to buzz on you put in gear here and for some reason I'm going to shut this thing off and then you just have to go down here and highlight this to where it says that and then hit OK. So I'm going to shut that and reboot it because for some reason I lost your depth finder. 
Okay, up in there here, there's storage. You're good for the top. You got the top sides and bag drop. Storage up underneath there. Uh, it's dry. You cup holder. They had to take the cup holder there and uh, just take it out because they put the depth finder there. And then we're going to turn this thing back on again. There we go. I'm going to let it reload. Okay, up underneath here, you got a ton of, ton of storage. And this thing was about 47, I think I got dang near 49 out of this boat, real quick, about a second and a half to plane. And it's really kind of nice just to sit back here and there's a ski pylon put it there. Be careful on some boats. I think I was in another one, I had a 150. It came pretty dang close to hitting the cowling. And then you got a 99, that worked good. That was between six and uh, say 7.7. .7. Uh, real fast you got your ladder if you forget your ladder down uh, you'll know same thing with the kicker gonna lose speed and I'll steer over here get out of this and then this was cross threaded so I had to re-straighten that up so that was... hey now be nice to me don't do that there you go see it ain't leaking now it was <laughs> one way to get wet then you go over here that's part of the primer bulb I'll put that back into there you got the dual batteries with the shutoff switch it's dry down there there's your seacock valve and they have the primer bulb backwards the arrow goes towards the motor not towards the water separator and it had a brand new bulb that was in here and they put another one in here so I needed to say I had to fix that so if I turn this on there's your light well there Turn that off. Sea Star Hydraulic, good water flow. And we'll turn this back around. We'll see, we'll just hit okay. We're on charts. And then just hit okay, bypass that. See, so that's my track lines. Everything there works good. Zoom in. Okay, so then we want to go home. We want to see what the fish finder does. Hit OK. Uh, fish finder, there's your depth again. Temperature, volts, speed. And then now if you want to switch to depth finders, all you do is hit menu. And then you can go to like, if I wanted to see down vision, just hit this arrow, go over here, hit OK. And that's going to do that. So while that's doing that kind of stuff, we'll go back here. We'll shut the motor off. Take this. Oh, you know what? I should put this on. There's, that way I don't lose it. It's got a floaty. I learned from lo losing too many of these phones in the water. Okay, always make sure that's tilted. Or the throttle just about there. Hit the start button. Make sure it's in neutral. That's back. Ah. and set that right to there and hit the start there you go then hit that there then point it in towards the motor a little bit full throttle and then there's your down so then if you hit this menu button you can go back down here and go to side and see right there we're trucking right along we're doing 4.8 4.9 right there 5.1 yeah, that's reading really good and then if you want you hit menu again see if you want to go left you just go down here hit OK then it does the left side Hit menu again, go down here. Now we're doing 6.8. Say I want to go to the right, hit OK. That shows you the right side, not the left and right. You go down here, then you can go just to down vision, like this. We'll leave it there, go menu again. Then you can go down to real vision, 3D, hit OK. And it's gonna start painting the bottom.
home again. Then you can do your dashboard, okay. Oh, we got 10 minutes, we're gonna have to go to part two.